So here we have the Hyundai 1.7 CRDI Premium Automatic on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll see we have reversing sensors and plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get full leather seats. The driver's seat is electronically adjustable. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car are 14,853. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. We've got various different menus along the top, including satellite navigation, vehicle systems, music vehicle settings, and user settings, and then back round to the beginning again where you can see we have a digital readout for the speedometer available to us. So the buttons I was using a moment ago to make those adjustments are these ones just here. We've also got cruise control over that side. And then on the left hand side we have stereo controls and phone controls underneath it. Uh, they can be used once of course the phone has been paired, which is done on the central touchscreen just here. So first of all, we are on the radio setting at the moment. And you can see this car's got FM, AM and DAB radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Hit the media button. Nothing's connected at the moment, but what you can use to listen to music is a USB device, which will plug in, auxiliary input as well. Uh, you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio too. So once you pair your phone, not only can you make or receive phone calls, but you're able to listen to your music as well. This car's also got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing that working on our website and it has a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in in relation to the image that you see behind you. So it does make this car very easy to park. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the temperature on the passenger side, on the driver side. Once you're happy with those settings, you can increase or decrease the fan speed. Auto will turn on the climate control. So the fan speed setting will disappear the car will maintain those temperatures for you by taking control of the fan speed itself. If you want to just have manual automatic, uh, manual air conditioning on, it's on when that little light is on, so off and then back on again. This car's also got a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same on the passenger side. The music inputs I was on about a moment ago, you can see two of them down here, the USB and auxiliary inputs, and they are flanked by two separate 12 volt charging sockets. We then have the fully automatic gearbox, electronic handbrake. This button will turn on or off the parking sensors. That's the auto hold function for the handbrake. I'll come back to that one last. Uh, this is for the stop and start. So the car is designed to cut out when you're stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That button turns that system off. And this one is your way of telling the car uh, you're about to go off road, maybe for a field, you know, towing a caravan or whatever it might be. Uh, but that just makes the car aware uh, and it will behave differently in those conditions. And the last one is driver mode. So you can put the car in sport or normal. So up on the main screen, you can see we're in sport mode or not, sport mode or not again. Uh, when in sport mode, the power steering will become firmer and the accelerator pedal will react quicker to what you're doing. The gearbox will also rev higher in each gear. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.